Hi everyone. As you probably know, I'll be leaving Skoda and be joining Volkswagen as CEO for the Volkswagen brand as from 1st of July. So I'm here today in Mada Boleslav to show my successor Klaus Zelma a little bit of the town and the brand. Hello Klaus. Hey, hi Thomas, good to see you. Well, I'm delighted to be here. Thanks very much for creating the occasion. I'm looking forward to meeting many Skodians and of course to get to know Skoda a bit better. So thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, we are right here at the birthplace of Skoda, literally, and uh, I think it's a good opportunity to start where it all began. So let's check your knowledge on the brand. How old do you think Skoda is? Well, obviously I did a little bit of homework. Uh, 1895, so 127 years old. And I think it all started with a letter, is that right? Yes, it did. Um, the founder, Mr. Clement, um, bought himself a bicycle in Germany and uh, was faulty, so he sent a letter back and complained about it. And uh, they replied, you must please send a letter in a, in a good language, which is German at the time. So he got so upset that he actually invented his own bicycle, the Slavia. And wow. the letter is right here. I'm always a big fan of the tradition of a car brand such as Skoda and I can't wait to discover all the cars. Do you, uh, do you already have a favorite uh, Skoda I actually, Oldtimer? I, I, of course, well, I don't have a Skoda Oldtimer, I'm looking for one, I'm looking for a Felicia, but um, my favorite of course is the popular Monte Carlo. Oh, okay, let's have a look, it's right here. Okay. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It absolutely is beautiful. The fly line speaks aerodynamics. I mean, form follows function. It's a classic. I love it. I'm really impressed. Yeah, it's not only here, it's also, we even have our own university in Skoda. Oh, Maybe wow. it's around the corner. Maybe we can have a look. Yeah, great, please. So what are your first impressions of Skoda? Oh, very positive. Um, since day one, when you know, I heard the great news that uh, I will be heading Skoda, I met many people, I met many Skodians also before that in my old function. And I always experienced them as very pragmatic, down to earth, they have this can-do attitude, they're creative, uh, they're functional, but they also have a great sense of humor. I also feel that um, there's this attitude to help other people. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of the foundations here. No? The, also, Skoda has been always very involved with the cities that we operate in, Mada Boleslav, Kvasini, Rachlabi. We also have great programs that uh, started immediately with the war in the Ukraine. We had, you need pragmatic help. And everybody can help. I mean, uh, my yeah. wife and, and our daughter, they immediately decided, hey, we have space. Uh, we are accommodating a family of four in our house oh, in wow. Germany. Okay. I think everybody can help and, I, and that's coming back to my first impression. I think that's Skoda. Skoda helps. I think you'll fit in right well here. <laughs> so now Skoda University and you know part of it here is actually a, a monastery from the 13th century, quite wow. pretty. Huh? Yeah, it's very impressive and pretty. So how many students do study here? About 1,100 students are here. Okay. Huh? And you can study IT, human resources, industrial management. Huh? And hopefully marketing and sales. Marketing and sales, oh, good. indeed. Let's have a look over there. There's a pretty viewpoint I want to show you. Okay. Great view, huh? Oh, absolutely yeah. beautiful. So that's the engine development center over there. Yeah, oh. Okay. And you go in the corner, you see a little bit of the old design villa, very important place for Skoda. Next to it, the R&D department of Skoda, and then the river behind it is the Isera. So it's quite a pretty valley. This is really impressive. Um, yeah, sure it is, but wait until you see production. Ah, is that the next stop? Yes, it is. Okay, great. So now we're arriving here at the most famous entrance, Gate 8. Okay. Now you can see this is where it all happens. This road uh, they call Wenceslas Square. No? It's, it's apparently as long as the Wenceslas Square in Prague. Yeah, this place is unfortunately huge. You know? so we find your way around here is not always that easy. Even our production uh, board member um, got lost uh, during the last Skoda rally and uh, took the wrong exit. 
Here on the left is office of Kobo. This is our union in uh, Metal Workers Union here in Czech Republic. Jaroslav Povšik, chairman, he's a great partner. We have, you know, really managed to go through all the crises in the last couple of years together. Here is the the power plant. No? Okay. You see that? It's yeah. uh, we're busy refurbishing it and, and like setting it up for using biomass uh, only until 2025. I think Skoda is in a very good shape. There might be something we need to add uh, in terms of electric vehicles, but uh, well, I'm going we, we to so. pick up that challenge. <laughs> uh, uh, so we cover the whole line and uh, all the target groups that are important for Skoda. Now we said we're going to anyway bring three new cars no? and that now in the elect battery electric space, but it might not be the end. No? Yeah, yeah, there's always room for more. So welcome to the Enyaq IV production. Wow, it's impressive. It's very open, natural light flooding in. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. So this, in this line, you know, we are producing Enyaq and Octavia, both the normal like Enyaq, Enyaq Coupe and the Octavia, Octavia Combi, mm -hmm. uh, fully flexible, very modern uh, facility here. Do you want to drive an Enyaq? Oh, I'd love to, yes, that would be my premiere. Okay, let's go and let's go. For but this time I can drive, okay? Okay. okay. So what's your takeaway from your time at Volkswagen? Well, you know, the, it, it was full of challenges due to COVID and semiconductor shortages. But I, I think we managed with the whole team uh, to be more customer centric. Uh, so I, I think this is something that Volkswagen needed. And I think we're on a good track with that. So hopefully you, you agree when you <laughs> when you take over full responsibility and don't phone me up and say, hey, you promised something you didn't do. But uh, uh, customer, cent a customer centricity is absolute key. No, this is no matter whether it's Skoda or Volkswagen in both it's the key to everything. Here we are. Here we are. Well, thanks for the ride. I guess it's time to say goodbye now. And oh my goodness, the yes. Keys. And um, <laughs> first of all, thank you very much for the wonderful insights and for your time. I really appreciate it. It was an awesome ride. And yes, now it's time to, time to exchange change. the keys. There you go. Okay, all the please, best. Please take care of my Skodians. I'm sure they're gonna, guys, gonna, gonna do great things together and an amazing team. Good luck. And all the best in, yeah. in Wolfsburg, Thomas. Thank you for everything. Thank you.